An extraordinary and historic scene at the Pardon and Parole Board on Wednesday as the state's attorney general spoke on behalf of a convicted murderer. Jason Doyle reports on what Gedna Drummond had to say in support of Richard Glossop and the board's reaction to it. I'm not a murderer, and I don't deserve to die for this. Please give Governor Stitt a chance to commute my sentence. This I week's clemency you. hearing before the Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board was one of Richard Glossop's last chances to get off death row for the 1997 murder of Oklahoma City hotel owner Barry Van Treese. It comes after support from legislators and now the Attorney General Gettner Drummond, who made history by supporting clemency for Glossop. I want to acknowledge how unusual it is for the state to support a clemency application of a death row inmate. I'm not aware of any time in our history that an Attorney General has appeared before this board and argued for clemency. I'm also not aware of any time in the history of Oklahoma when justice would require it. After an independent review of Glossop's case, Drummond filed with the Court of Criminal Appeals to have the conviction vacated and for Glossop to be retried in district court. The higher court dismissed Drummond's request, setting the stage for the state to execute Glossop. For me as the state's chief law enforcement officer, I must be primarily considering what justice is for the state of Oklahoma. And that is what has compelled me to devote hours, countless hours, of my time examining the facts in this case. While he's siding with Glossop for clemency, Drummond feels for the Vantries family. I know that this has been an extremely difficult process for the family to endure. And it has been my absolute privilege and honor to visit with many of them over the course of my last 104 days. Glossop's attorney contends the state's main witness against Glossop was Justin Sneed, who actually committed the killing, but is not a reliable witness. The idea that he aspired to take over the best budget in for himself came only from Justin Sneed, a man who now everyone, even the state admits, is a liar. Don Knight feels Glossop has shown through good behavior in prison and his life before 1997 that he's deserving of clemency. But when you add this huge cloud of doubt over his guilt to Rich Glossop's good behavior throughout his life, The idea that he must be executed for any reason becomes unsupportable. As expected, the Van Trees family wants the ordeal finished. The entire event is constantly, it feels like we have let a wound heal and the scab has been torn off again multiple times over the years. I spent years being angry, frustrated feeling helpless with this process and a system that's supposed to work for the people by performing its duties as required by law. Donna Vantrese is Barry Vantrese's widow. I've stated in the past, I've taken it upon myself to be Barry's voice since his voice was taken away on that tragic day 26 years ago. His voice is so important. He would just say, give me the facts. Despite reliving the trauma of her husband's death, she remains vigilant for Barry. Our desire and our hope today is that justice will be served for our beloved Barry. And that you will take into consideration our statements and know that We have heard everyone else's testimony today so far that we do not feel justly represented. I spent over half my life waiting for justice to be served to those responsible. In that time, the state of Oklahoma has had four governors, five attorneys general, seven directors of the Department of Corrections. Van Trees' son, Derek Van Trees, says the courts have proven Glossop is guilty and it's time for his punishment to be delivered. This case has been pushed from being a legal matter to being a political issue. It's been pushed from the court of law to the court of public opinion, and enough is enough. All due diligence has been served. Two juries, 24 members of the public have listened to the same evidence. Both juries have found Richard Glossop to be guilty of his charges and rendered the same sentencing. Then. It was Glossop's turn to plea his case with the Pardon and Parole Board and started with expressing sympathy for the Van Trees family. 
First, I want the Van Trees family to know how terrible I feel for what they have gone through. What your family has gone through, no family should ever have to endure. Glossop also continued to proclaim his innocence in the murder. I must say again for this hearing that I did not know about Justin Sneed's plan to commit any crime against Barry Van Trees, and I would have never thought of paying anybody to commit a crime. I absolutely did not cause Justin Sneed to commit any crime against Mr. Van Trees, let alone to murder him. Ultimately, Glossop and his supporters' efforts to win over the pardon parole board came up short. We will now vote on the question of clemency for Mr. Glossop. Ms. Romero, would you please call the vote? Ed Kinyechny? Yes, for clemency. Calvin Prince? Yes, for clemency. Richard Miller? No. Kathy Stoker? No. Clemency is denied. By denying clemency, Glossop's chances to escape Oklahoma's death row has now narrowed to an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. Jason Doyle, The Oklahoma News Report.